In this video, we're going to go over how to find the p-value and test statistic in a two-sample t-test. So let's focus on problem 13. So it says a sample of 10 regions in New England had a mean violent crime rate of 3.51 and a standard deviation of 0.81. So already in the first sentence, you see it's giving us the sample standard deviation. So that tells us that we want to use t-statistics. If you keep reading it, it talks about the Rocky Mountains and then the last sentence says, does the data indicate that the violent crime rate in New England is lower than in the Rocky Mountains? Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to find the p-value for this problem. So because it gives us the sample standard deviation, what you want to do is you want to use t. So you go over here to where it says stat, and you click on stat, t stats, and we have two samples, right? We have New England and the Rocky Mountains. So we go over to two sample and then we click on with summary. So I'm going to go ahead and left click that. And then here it says sample one, sample two. So you just look into your problem and fill in the boxes. So it's the sample of 10 regions in New England. That's the sample size. So we put the 10 here in the box that says sample size. Then it says had a mean violent crime rate of 3.51. That's the mean. So that goes in this box here, 3.51. Then it says sample standard deviation. So that's the standard deviation here of 0.81. So 0.81. You have to be really careful with all these decimals. <laughs> uh, now sample two, that's gonna be the Rocky Mountains. So sample of 12 regions, that's our N. And then it says has, has a mean violent crime rate of 3.87. So that's the mean, so 3.87. And then it says over here, standard deviation of 0.94. So that's going to go in this box here. So just to double check, let's see. We had the sample of 10 regions. That's here. Checks. We had a mean violent crime rate of 3.51. That's here. We have a standard deviation of 0.81. That's here. Over here, we have 12 regions. So that's N. That's the sample size. We had a mean violent crime rate of 3.87, that's over here, checks. And we had the standard deviation of 0.94, that certainly checks as well. Then you see this box here, it says pool variances. You want to uncheck that, so make sure to uncheck pool variances, otherwise you'll get the wrong answer. Right here where it says hypothesis test, usually you can just look at the last sentence to figure out what goes here. So it says here, does the data indicate that the violent crime rate in New England is lower than? So because it says lower than, we're going to click less than. Okay, so because it says lower than, we're going to click less than. Usually this comes from the last sentence. Not always, but 99% of the time you will be correct. Let's go ahead and click compute. Boom, there it is. There's the test statistic right there, 0.965. So the test statistic is t equals negative 0.965. And the p-value is right there, 0.1731. So the p-value in this problem is equal to 0.1731. That's not the, how you do the entire hypothesis test, but at least that's how you use StatCrunch to find the test statistic and the p-value. So I hope that is helpful.